Good mid after or early afternoon, 12:27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Monday, September 30th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So I would like to do a commodities update here. I won't make it very very long, maybe 10 to 12 minutes, but I'm also going to do an XRP update at about 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As we're gonna have to stay on top of XRP and the only thing you need to remember here is XRP, we knew we were gonna drop down to 62.05 cents. The question is, does it hold the 62.05 or does XRP give it back? If it gives it back, it could open up the door to a much more substantial drop. And as we said over the weekend, that rally on Friday that was anticipated was the time to get in. Now anybody who bought over the top, they could find themselves in a very deep water here because they're buying the rally instead of buying the consolidation. So if you bought it at 66, 65, 64, you're gonna have a little problem here, especially if 62 comes through. So we'll continue to update that as the day goes on. Right now we're right at that critical level. So at least with another two and a half hours of data, I'll be able to tell you exactly what's gonna happen there as far as what it's trying to show us. But right now we're gonna do the commodities Make sure you watch this morning's update on XRP so you can get all the details. Even though it was up near 63 cents and a little maybe a little bit higher this morning, I still talked about the drop to 62. We front ran this yesterday. So just stay very, very alert and please hit that like button because this commodities video isn't going to do as well. So I definitely need your help. So what we're looking at here is first and foremost, B2 Gold, as we know, we had bought it at several different times. And over the course of time, we started with about $3,500 and we built it up with our precious metals, if you've been following along, to about $13,000 right now, a little bit over. Now the question here is, and I don't have a question here, but what I did was I bought at two sixty two dollars the last time, and most of you did if you were following along, and we sold out at $3.38. And I said, even if it breaks down farther, my goal, because I was in at 238, then I sold it at 290 something, then bought back at 262, then sold out at 338. My goal was to buy at $3.15. That was about a 7% drop from the top where I sold it. And it came down here. Well, I did make the purchase I spoke of. It actually gave me three, and for whatever reason, I must have bought it when it had the dip. But I didn't get $3.12. It put $3. I put in for $3.14 because that was my limit order. But it actually was at $3.13 and filled it at $3.13. So I'm happy about that. And then what I did was I was able to go from like 3,060 shares to over 3,100. And then I took about $250 that I saved from selling and then buying back and yada, yada, yada. And I took out options for January of 2026 now at the five dollar and fifty cent level so as you know i have an option right now that expires january of this year second week at three dollars and fifty cents and we've still got several months to go here so we'll see how that pans out um but i'm fully expecting at some point here a volatile swing up to that five dollar area sooner rather than later we're back testing a very significant breakout right now and if you are been paying attention to the b2 gold in and out in and out this may be the last time we can do the in and out. This was a strategic step because I knew we had to back test at the very, you know, at least. And I bought it back on the back test. And I said on Friday, I didn't buy it back at 324. And I said, if it bites me in the ass, it bites me in the ass. But I really was strongly on the fact that I wanted to buy it at 315. I got it at 313. So I'm not mad about that at all. Um, and that's where we're sitting right now. So we'll see how this plays out. But this is a definite buy alert if you're looking at B2 Gold. I'm not a financial advisor, but the dividend is still very healthy. Let's see what it is in today's terms. Um, because I put that in my Charles Schwab or my JP Morgan trading account, because you can only do so much on Cash App, and I realize the higher I get, if I buy in for something for 13 and then I sell. That's considered $26,000 and I can only do $50,000 a week when they would let me rebuy. So I had to kind of condense it a little bit. So I actually have some of it on. Um, I have my B2 Gold on Charles Schwab now, which is unfortunate. But I have First Majestic and we'll go over First Majestic and Fortuna Silver Mines, which I have on here now in the stocks. As you can see, I've taken off over $10,000 off of my cash app if you were watching before. But let's go into stocks. 
let's go into B2 Gold. And their dividend right now, because I like to be, it's at 5%. So that dividend's come down a little bit. It's right about where it should be now. So that's B2 Gold right now. So that's what I'm looking at. We got this big descending consolidation. And it looks like we should be able to bounce out of here in this near term. So just pay attention. And, you know, you got to do your own due diligence because what I like, you won't necessarily like and vice versa. Um, so just do your own due diligence there. And obviously, I'll stay very transparent on B2 Gold as always. Um, because that's my baby. B2 Gold is my number one mining stock that I like, that I own. Um, I also like First Majestic. And I like um, Fortuna Silver Mines, which I don't know why it's not up here. It should be up here. Oh, I never deleted this off of here. It should be... That was on my phone. So Fortuna Silver Mines, we'll get into that as well today. And then we'll get into First Majestic as well. As I believe when Silver has this rally, because it's going to have a huge one. Right now we have a technical target. In the short term, up near 35, 35, 50. And these are, this is going to have major implications. What's going on with Russia? And I don't know if this is just a little bit of, you know, the media misrepresenting, which is probably what it is. But the underground cable lines that are made with mostly silver that the national media is saying that Russia is threatening to destroy. I think that could be a little bit of a, a little bit of a, uh, something different could be going on there. So we have to pay attention to that. And if that ends up going, if those underground cables go, there's going to be a lot of silver that needs to be mined. So and it has to be used. So that's just something to pay attention to. So that's uh, B2 Gold. And these could very well come down even farther. And this will be one of those cases where, as it does this, because Gold's having its retracement here at 2,636. I had a technical drop where I didn't know if it would come all the way down. But the back test here of the technical breakup would have been back testing 2,616. Now, it came down to 2,627, so to me, it's come down a decent way already. Can it come all the way back down? It depends, because if it comes through here, maybe just maybe in time, it would end up saying, well, maybe 2,526 would come into play. But I don't know. The daily was over overbought big time, but now that we get into the today's time frame, we got so far back up into a good range here that I don't expect this to happen very long. We're going to be going into rate cuts again. And sure, we could come down farther. Um, but you got to make a you got to make a play somewhere with what you believe and we've been doing this buy and sell routine. So now it's just it's back to that time again. So we'll see what happens. And that'll be the last I talk about it for a little bit, but I hope you've been paying attention. With First Majestic oversold today. I have my stuff inverted, but it's definitely oversold on the day. We came down to the 200 day we got a massive W reversal that formed on the pattern breakout. And we have a technical target right now of $8.55 in time. So, looks like a nice bull flag consolidation right now. Coming off of a W reversal, it's retesting the breakout area, which is around the neckline, which could come all the way down to like, I'd say 591 area. I know I bought First Majestic back at $5.97 today. I had it from $4.71, sold it at $6.70. And then bought it back today at 597. So I'm not too worried about a continued move down. Um, I was just more worried about saving that top end. I didn't want to sit through that drop because I could see it coming after such an overzealous runoff. Actually, no, I sold that 660. I don't know why I said 670. 660. But it's come down. It was about nine and a half percent down when I bought it from the top where I sold it. Um, so that's that. And then Fortuna Silver Mines. I haven't been in, in a very long time. Um, it's down 3.43% today. It's at $4.64 right now. And uh, it's just something that I've been tracking. And it's not quite back down to 285 where it hit the low. But it, it's it's been on a it's been on quite a tear this year. And this would be the one that I would say would be the most speculative. It doesn't have a dividend, but it's down 26.5% roughly from the top when I repurchased it. So We'll see what happens there, but this is my outlook. I'm looking at silver very closely because I know in time here it's going to have the biggest break of all. We're consolidating just as we expected, like, and if it comes all the way down, that would be, and it, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to, but if it comes all the way down, it'd be $30.67. We came down to 
I mean, it came very close to $30.92. So whether it comes all the way down or not, we've already back tested back here. So this could have just been a shakeout consolidation after such a big run up. But this pattern does not look bearish. That's a megaphone that broke out. And the technical target out of this breakout is $35.58 in the short term. And then the targets are much higher as we go until you get to the ultimate targets that get you well over $50. So I hope you guys appreciated this look into commodities and the precious metals. Make sure to hit that like button so YouTube does recommend this update. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that show of support. It would allow me to continue to put out this content and allow more people to see the precious metal side of things and then the gold silver ratio um i think the gold silver ratio is about to plummet personally in time here and this gold silver ratio in time and i've already got it marked out for everybody but into the future i think it'll come down to 42.68 and you can see we're finally starting to break this and that was my trajectory and that was a long time ago when i put that out but that was the spot i expected it to break down and it's ironic that it's trying to, it might've put in a small V shape, but it is still in the resistance area. So just pay attention to this with the gold silver ratio. The opportunity of a lifetime won't be here forever. So keep paying attention. And the only other thing you'd have to look at is the DXY and the DXY, as we know, it's gonna come down to 98. And then over time, I fully anticipate it to come down into that 79.7 range. It's just a matter of time. We're getting very, very close to having an epic breakdown in the US dollar. Stay blessed everybody.